This is a tutorial on a Minnie Mouse themed sneaker. Um, this is my very first YouTube video, uh, how to video, and I hope you enjoy it. So the shoes initially have been painted with uh, this tulip color shot, um, fabric color from Michaels. It was $5.99 a can. It takes about one can per shoe if you want a really good red color and good coverage. Uh, for the Minnie Mouse shoe, it doesn't really matter uh, that you get a deep red color. It's kind of pretty when there, where there's some unevenness to it, but these are my daughter's shoes and she didn't want the unevenness to the shoe, so um, I did three coats and you can get three pretty good coats out of this. Uh, the first coat, you have to make sure you spray it all over. Uh, sit it out in the sun for quick dry. It takes about 10 minutes to dry completely. And then go back out, look for where it's too light, spray those spaces mm -hmm. first. Uh, after that, you can go back over it again after another 10 minutes of allowing it to dry. The sole stays pretty sticky. Uh, the part that I'm going to show you now is the positioning of the polka dots. I start with a nice spaced out row. I make a circle, a small circle while I'm pressing down to let the paint out and then I release my pressure and just spread the paint around. So when it goes, when it's in a straight line like this, if you come to the center and move over a bit, the circles, the polka dots look pretty nice. Once I have, I don't know, eight to 10 polka dots, I'll sprinkle the glitter on top. Kind of following the pattern. Um, I'm sorry, the purpose was to make different rows. So this is the first row, and then this is the second row, and they are off center uh, to the initial row. Um, this space here will look a little empty, and I like to put in like little uh, half circles where the fabric separates and then go in and put another half circle right over top and then match it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's enough for me to shake on the silver glitter. Uh, this is Tulip. This is $1.99 and the spray paint was $5.99. So there's a hole in it in the top. I pressed my fingernail through it Initially, the hole was too small, so it kept getting clogged. Then I opened it up a little more so that it wouldn't get clogged, but I didn't want to take it off completely because then I would be dumping the glitter. And I just tap on it to get the glitter to fall out and cover the circle completely. If it doesn't cover completely, that's not terrible. Um, I'll let this sit on here until I'm done the whole shoe. Uh, it doesn't really shake off. Uh, which you'll see later it doesn't shake off so I take an old makeup brush and brush it off once it's dry because I don't want the paint to drag and then the ones on the side don't really cover well so I have to tip the shoe which I can't hold the camera and show you that so I'm gonna stop the video tip the shoe sprinkle the glitter and then uh, put polka dots on the rest of the shoe. So I'm gonna stop the video and when I come back, there'll be polka dots on the entire shoe. I'll tell you how I got the tongue of the shoe to be black without ruining the outside of the uh, shoe. So all the polka dots are on it. Um, as you can see, there's glitter all over the place that needs to be brushed off. Um, which I'll do with an old uh, makeup brush, or you can get a new one, just really inexpensive, like those little ones you can find for $2. Um, 
the red is completely dry so it'll just brush off of the red and you'll be left with a nice shoe nice red shoe with red uh, with white and glitter polka dots uh, to get the tongue black um, on the initial shoe I painted the tongue black first and let it dry and then tucked it under on my daughter's shoes uh, the initial shoes are mine on her shoes however I spray painted the shoe first and what I did was I tucked the tongue under the shoe uh, underneath the toe of the shoe so that it was no longer visible and then when I sprayed it it didn't get any of the red paint on it um, and then once it was dry I untucked it leaving it inside of the shoe put a little of the black tulip paint on the tip uh, it's this one for $2.99 I think also at Michaels I'm really liking the tulip products uh, except for the fact that the sole stays sticky for so long I'm pretty sure I'm using the wrong type of paint for painting uh, the soles of sneakers but it's fine they're just for the trip um, and then we'll wear them for as long as they're cute so put a little on the tip of the brush reach in and basically just brush the inside well not the inside but brush the the tongue of the shoe uh, I got all of it like the edges of the tongue um, all the way up in there as close as possible to the top part where the tongue will be showing any part that will be exposed you want to make sure it's covered really well um, when you flip it back you'll see that it's still white but I covered the edges um, so that it's not really visible um, once the whole shoe is complete I will go in and do touch-ups and I'll probably get just the outer part of this and make it black around the edge not the back of the tongue which is fine um, once it's completely dry this is just an inexpensive ribbon I think this was $5.99 for a whole roll um, put it in as a shoestring knot it um, it looks really cute like this and then I took another uh, inexpensive ribbon I think this one was actually two dollars I'm not sure but everything came from Michaels I love Michaels um, this polka dot needs more glitter uh, but then I took the ribbon and I'll show you later how to fold the ribbon and then attach it to the back of the shoe I use needle and thread if you look really close you'll be able to see it uh, but no one else will see it I prefer to use a glue gun a hot glue gun but I'm afraid that it will fall off for the replacement shoestrings I use celebrated 360 degrees ribbon um, then I took it and I measured it up against a the original shoestring and just cut the edges on a pretty little angle um, and then I'm gonna lace the shoes so I'm gonna stop the video lace the shoes come back and show you how to assemble the bow so my initial thought was to use the original shoestring to push the ribbon through but if I just put the pointed tip um, through it makes it easier to just grab it and pull it through I can't pull it through with one hand and hold the camera but it'll go through pretty easy um, you just pull it out and then you'll lace the shoes that way all the way up they're long enough that if they start to fray at the edges or if some of the paint scrapes off which is possible this is kind of messy now um, I'll either knot it here or I'll just cut it again the back of the shoe uh, gets a bow I wanted it to be a little more drapey but I had already bought the ribbon so it's it doesn't drape the way I want it to um, so basically you take the bow you figure out what size you want this is about half the size of the bow so I'm gonna take it hold it very firmly here flip it over so that I basically uh, double the size of the bow and then I'm gonna take scissors and cut about here so I went ahead and cut all three uh, strips of ribbon for the remaining three bowls because one shoe has been complete for about three days now. Um, 
and then I take about six inches of ribbon um, two six inch pieces and I'm going to cut them up the center it doesn't have to be completely uh, centered but as long as I get a good amount of bow so that I can I'm sorry a good amount of ribbon so that I can cinch the bow in the center in order to form the bow I'm gonna take the longer piece of ribbon which ended up being about 12 inches of ribbon uh, turn it upside down or print side down and then bring the edges of the ribbon to the center the last part will overlap over top of the first one and then I am going to turn it over take this piece of ribbon and use it to secure the bow so I'm gonna stop the video take this I'm sorry it's the wrong way so it should be where the opening is and I'm going to take this and tie it and when I tie it they'll kind of look like this and I, I think I want my bow to be a little smaller and you can fluff out the edges so here we have the finished bow um, and it's going to be attached to the shoe um, the edges the ends for the tying part sometimes fray. If it didn't fray, it'd probably be pretty hanging from the shoe, but I may get rid of that. I'm not quite sure yet. I might pull the other one down and let them hang and just clean up the edges. Um, I initially wanted a black bow behind this bow. I thought it would be really pretty, but I didn't want to pay more than $25 for the shoe. Um, with the shoe being $17, um, this being about this was six dollars and then it was a 40 percent off coupon um and then splitting the cost of the glitter uh the polka dot ribbon and the black ribbon for the shoe as well as the black paint for the tongue of the shoe um it brought the shoe somewhere around 25 dollars i got every ribbon every piece of ribbon I needed for each bow off of this roll of ribbon. I got every shoestring I needed off of this um, roll of ribbon. So the costs was, are, were pretty inexpensive. You figure, I made two pairs of shoes um, and I basically split all of the materials um, between the, the four shoes except each each shoe required almost a full can there this is still pretty full um, each shoe required almost a full can of spray paint um, I am going to take the needle and thread actually I'm gonna go find the old uh, makeup brush and lightly brush all of the excess glitter off of each of the shoes I'm not going to show the video for stitching um, the bow to the shoe. Uh, I'm still considering going in and hot gluing the bow so that it's more secure to the back of the shoe. When, I'm, when I come back, it'll basically be uh, pictures of the shoe um, by itself as well as pictures of what the shoes look like when they're on so my daughter will have her shoes on and I may have my shoes on um, these are the Minnie Mouse Minnie Mouse shoes instead of paying like 50 or 60 dollars for a pair of shoes when we get to Disney World um, I decided to make some Minnie Mouse themed shoes myself um, and then I'm going to show you the I may put an additional half polka dot here um, I'm going to show you the video it'll be a lot uh, shorter for my son's shoe I made him a Mickey Mouse theme shoe but like I said I'll be back with pictures only no more video thanks for watching